I'm away from 7 o'clock. Good to have you with us. I'm Gareth Edwards, Sally Baudet, away for this evening. Uh, Rupi Manzena, can we please talk trucking, the trucking industry, so mm. incredibly important, but then we have those scenes that we've had the past few days, Van Rienens and other trucks being attacked as well. This is no good for our economy. Not at all. They're part of the very bedrock of the economic growth of the country because they are logistics and they move a lot of the goods and services that we need as a country to function. And that is the big worry uh, that the Transport Minister was addressing today when she says that there's a need for regulations to build more resilient South African transport. She was speaking at the 41st South African Transport uh, uh, Conference today. Now she raised the challenge of climate disasters, major accident and of course the torching of trucks on major highways. For more on this and the regulations needed, we're joined by trucking and freight expert uh, Paul Nordengen and he's the director of Heavy Vehicle Transport Technology Africa and the president of the International Forum for Road, Road Transport uh, technology. Thank you very much uh, for uh, your time uh, this evening. A very important call that was made by the Minister of Transport uh, today, uh, Paul. Uh, but before we get into the role of the trucking industry and keeping the economy running, uh, your thoughts on creating new regulations uh, that may change the tide of what the freight industry is currently gra uh, grappling with, the latest being the two arson attacks on two major highways. Uh, good evening, and thanks for inviting me to, to speak to you this evening. Um, you know, I th my own view is that there are, there are regulations. We, we just need enforcement. We have such good regulations, and I'm, I'm not specifically uh, knowledgeable on regulations relating to torching of trucks, but it's clearly illegal, uh, damage to property. Um, the, the big problem is the lack of enforcement. So... You know, in my view, we need to have a stronger uh, reaction to the, these kind of uh, actions. I mean, the first ones that happened at Moy River was two years ago. So this is not something new. Um, and yet, it, it's, I mean, the fact that it can go on to that you have six or seven or more trucks being burnt without really any intervention, um, there needs to be very uh, careful ways in how to deal with these situations to avoid. Um, fatalities, unnecessary fatalities. But it's clearly just totally, totally unacceptable, um, not only for the drivers and, and people involved on the scene, but for the economy as a whole. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's actually quite worrying, Paul, because it speaks to the ineffectiveness of our intelligence authorities when it comes to these attacks. But broadly speaking, the role of Rick. trucking in keeping South Africa's economy running, obviously it's struggling at the moment, but break down the importance that the freight industry uh, has when it comes to the functioning of the economy. I think most people don't really realize the importance of the, of the trucking industry. Um, you know, it's it's. Um, you, you mentioned about you know goods and services, but it, it is it is so important, especially on these major corridors. If you think about it, most people go to the shops just about every day to buy groceries, or they may go shopping for whatever. And everything that they buy in the shops has been on a truck. And it's 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 that you you want to go to a shop, and you not only want a, a particular product, but you also want to have a selection. So the, if the effort that is being done through the trucking industry to have all those products at all the different shops so that consumers can get what they want at a good price is, is just, it's beyond, your, beyond the, most people's comprehension. I've had quite a bit of inter, interaction with a lot of trucking companies, small ones as big as well as large ones, and the, the systems that they have in place to ensure that the goods are, are uh, delivered, whether it's motor vehicles or groceries or, um, I mean, there's a, you know, there's a big dairy in Gauteng that produces a lot of milk. Now, traditionally, they had cows uh, in, in Gauteng that were producing the milk. But in fact, cows do a lot better <coughs> in, in KwaZulu-Natal, in the Moy River area. So every day there are thousands of liters that are being of milk that are being transported on the N3 to Gauteng to service this dairy that supplies milk to millions of people in, in the Gauteng area. I mean, these are things that we don't actually realize is happen, are happening behind the scenes. 
And so when you have uh, constrictions or, or inter, uh, actions like we had in the last couple of days on these major corridors, it is very difficult to try and quantify the impact on the economy. And um, many of the transport operators operate on very, very small margins. So um, I was talking to one of the transport operators this morning and their margins are very small. So a delay, a, a four, six hour delay can wipe out their profit for a particular trip. So we have, uh, and, and I mean, to me, one of the big concerns are the truck drivers. You know, we, we drive on, on these roads once in a while, maybe when we go on holiday or so, but these guys are driving on those roads every single day mm. to keep to keep the, the freight you know moving, supplying all these uh, different uh, retailers. Mm. They are the ones that have to now drive at night with thinking that you know this could happen. So I think it's it's really it's quite a major um, and and the, and you met, you mentioned about uh, someone mentioned about the, the the situation on rail. So with a lot of the bulk commodities not being moved on rail as they should be, there are a lot more trucks, especially in the last couple of years with the, the increase in the coal price, a lot of bulk commodities that are on those roads. So there's been a, a large increase in trucks, a big stress on the road infrastructure, yeah. which shouldn't be there. No, absolutely. Paul, I wish we did have a little bit more time to ventilate the issue further, but we will catch up with you uh, at the conclusion of this particular conference. That is Paul uh, Nordingen, who is the Director of Heavy Vehicle Transport Technology Africa and the President of the International Forum for Road Transport Technology, joining us this evening.